I thought our guys wrestled really hard. You know, they competed well. They wrestled with a lot of passion, a lot of pride, you know, you know, for this university. And, you know, we knew it was going to be a battle. You know, I told our guys going in, you know, I, th I thought we'd win the duel, but we were going to have to be ready to fight at all 10 weight classes, you know. And I thought our guys competed hard, you know, from the first whistle to the last. And we had to win a lot of tough, hard-fought matches. You know, there was only two matches that were decided by more than a than a regular decision in, in, that, in that whole duel. And there was, you know, most of them were decided – you know, with a takedown or an overtime win, stuff like that. And so, you know, it was just a really gutsy performance from our team, um, which I think kind of speaks to the kind of team that this is. You know, we've battled through a lot of adversity this year. I mean, you know, we've got two returning conference champions that are not in our lineup currently. Uh, got one of our starters that went out in December with a, you know, with a uh, – season-ending injury. So we've had to battle a lot of obstacles, and I think it's made this team tougher. You know, I really do. I mean, and I think that's why you saw that perseverance and the determination that they wrestled with on, on Sunday. Uh, really proud of them, really proud of their effort. And, uh, you know, we got to have that same kind of effort as we try to finish up and, and cap off this uh, conference uh, season, you know, Davidson on Friday and then Presbyterian on Sunday. I mean, the energy was was hard to describe. I mean, uh, you know, the the gym was packed. We had all the you know pretty much standing room only, and and you know I think that maybe we've had like I think the NC State match this year we probably had a bigger crowd as far as numbers goes. But that match Sunday was the loudest I've ever heard varsity gym. You know, I think the fans that were there were knowledgeable. And then you had some that were students or just, you know, maybe coming for the first time. And the energy and the excitement around that duel and, and the intense environment that we wrestled in, obviously I think will create more fans. I mean, if you came there as your first time, I guarantee you want to come back, you know, for sure. And, you know, that's what it's, you know, we tell people about it all the time. Like the varsity gym experience is, is something that's, you know, it's, it's you have to experience it to understand it, you know. But when people come for the first time, they always seem to come back. Both your program, Campbell, has a history of being ranked for both the top 30 going into this. Um, moved up close to the top 25, but still outside of it in a lot of a lot of polls where you've, you know, wrestled NC State as tight as a lot, you know, a lot of people are better than a lot of people. Split with North Carolina. Just, can you kind of make your case for why your team might be being, you know, just not given the respect or the ranking that you think it is? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I honestly was a little bit, um, I, I don't know, I guess disappointed that, that we weren't in some of the top 25 rankings. I mean, this team, if you look at, at our resume, I mean, our guys have been extremely dominant in our wins. We're 7-2 uh, and two right now, I think, currently 7-2. and two. Our two losses are to both top 20 teams. You know, NC State, I think, is ranked fourth in the country right now. We wrestled them 25-10. If you ask their coaching staff, I bet you they'll tell you that, that we were one of their toughest duels they've had this year. Uh, and then North Carolina, we split 5-5 five and five in North Carolina, lost 17-15, uh, you know, on a couple of bonus points. But, you know, we were right there in that match. Um, and then you look at Campbell, you know, Campbell's, you know, they've had top 25 wins this year. Uh, you know, they lost to Central Michigan, I, th I think, you know, very narrowly. And I think they had a couple of starters out when they wrestled them. So, um, you know, that win, a 19-13 win over Campbell where we win six matches is a very, I think, um, you know, should be an impressive win, you know, because both of us are receiving votes. Um, you know, so, you know, I am kind of a little bit surprised that we weren't in the top 25 this week, but, uh, you know, who knows? I think, uh, you know, obviously we got two more duels on our schedule and, uh, you know, I know there's some other teams that still have some matches to wrestle as well. Last week, the coaches ranking, the second set of those came out in the first set of RPI, I think six in the coaches <coughs> rankings and then seven in the RPI, which didn't include John John, who just didn't have the match, you know, minimum met um, just based on a match since uh, earlier in the year. Just kind of what, what were your thoughts when you saw those? Well, I think it, number one, I think it speaks to the competitive schedule that we wrestle, that we've got, you know, when John John gets his, now that he has his 15 matches, you know, we should have eight guys in the RPI and the, in the RPI rankings, six guys in the coaches' rankings. I think we may have a couple that might jump in here late, too, because of some of their performances the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, which, going back to the question you just asked me, I mean, when you got seven guys or six, seven guys that, or in the coaches' rankings and, and eight guys in the RPI, I think that also speaks to why we've got to balance enough team to be ranked in the top 25 in the country. And, uh, you know, I think we've got a lot of guys that, that I think I expected to be in those coaches' rankings and, the, and uh, 
that kind of thing. But I think I was very pleased when I saw our RPI rankings because at the first this year, I tried to build a schedule that would give our guys the opportunity to earn a bid to the national tournament if they if they take care of business and wrestle the way they're capable of. I think that seeing eight guy, you know, potentially eight guys in the RPI, you know, lets me know that 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 was, um, you know, a a good decision, and I think our schedule was well well thought and well put together. As we look forward to this weekend, you mentioned Davidson Friday, Presbyterian on Sunday, both on the road. <clears throat> um, you know, when Friday could clinch the regular season title for you, just kind of the outlook and approach you're taking to this week. Well, this match is really important. You know, I tell our guys, you know from Sunday right after the match, like, hey, our focus is on Davidson now. You know, we're not looking past Davidson. They're a very improved program. I think they actually won four matches against Campbell, uh, four individual matches. Um, so they've got some guys that can wrestle, and, and they're, they're you know, a, a up-and-coming program. And it's a very, very important match for us. It's important for number one because it's our next match. You know, we talk about it all year. The next, you know, the most important match is the next match. And Davidson is the next match on our schedule. Um, obviously, there's some added significance because a win at Davidson would clinch the conference championship for us this year. Um, so, I've, you know, obviously let our guys know that, that, hey, we got to win this duel to, to, you know, clinch the conference championship. But not only that, like, these matches are important for seeding, for the individual seeding for the conference tournament. So uh, this is a big match on Friday night, and our guys, you know, have to have the same intensity, the same focus that we just had uh, on Sunday.